Okay, so let's take a look at the full solution to sketch the parabola y squared is equal to 16x. Now this topic in math is called conic sections and I teach this in my pre-calculus course. Matter of fact, I'm gonna leave a link to that course in the description of this video. And uh, the video solution that you're going to see in just one second comes from my full course. All right, so once again, we're going to sketch this parabola. And uh, conic sections, by the way, covers other topics like uh, ellipses, hyperbolas, and circles. So again, if you're having a tough time with this, check out my pre-calculus course. And if this video helps you out, well, definitely hit that like and subscribe button as that uh, helps me out. But uh, I'm going to be showing you a lot of steps here, so make sure to uh, take notes and enjoy the video. All right, so let's take a look at our first problem. We want to sketch the parabola y squared equals 16x. And to do this, we're going to need to, first of all, take this parabola and write it into standard form because we're going to need the focus and we're going to need the, the directrix. Once we have the focus and the directrix and we can plot those on the graph and we know we're talking about a horizontal axis parabola. Now, why do we know that we're talking about a horizontal axis parabola? Because horizontal axis parabolas have the y squared term and you can see that this problem is a y squared parabola. Okay, so it's going to be a horizontal axis. So once we have the main idea that this is a horizontal axis, we know what the directrix is at and the focus, we can you know present a, a basic uh, sketch of the parabola. All right, so let's get right to it. So the first thing that we need to do is take our problem, y squared equals 16x, and rewrite it into its standard equation form. And we've been doing many of these in the previous examples uh, and um, lesson. So let's just kind of really do it real quick. So y squared equals 16x, we're almost there. Okay, so I have this 16 part sitting where the 4p is. So let me go ahead and solve for p. So 4 I'm gonna set 4p equal to 16. I see that uh, p is equal to four and I solve this basic equation. So here is my standard equation, y squared equals four times the value of p, which is in fact four itself times x. But once I have this p value, okay, I can easily determine what the focus and the directrix is because the focus is going to be p at, located at the um, point p0 or in this case 4 0 because I know that p is equal to 4 okay and the directrix will be at the uh, will be the line x equals negative p or x equals negative 4 and by the way one of the things I need to emphasize here is that for all these parabolas in this whole lesson uh, uh, group um, we're talking only about parabolas that were the vertex goes through the origin. So that's another piece of information. So we know that the vertex is located at zero, zero for all these problems. Okay. So I have this piece of information, the vertex at zero, zero. I have the focus where it's located at four, zero. I have the directrix X equals negative four, that line. And I know it's a horizontal axis parabola. So let's go ahead and plot all that information here. So here is our focus at four, zero. We've got to put a little F for focus. Here is the vertex at zero, zero. So this would be our V and the directrix is a line. Okay, it's just right here, X equals negative four. So knowing this, I could see that I'm going to have a horizontal axis parabola. This is the, the, uh, the axis because the focus and the vertex are on the same line and so the parabola is going to be symmetric okay in other words this side is going to be the mirror image of this side and this is what you have so now whether the parabola is going more so this way or more so this way well we talked about in the lesson let me highlight this now okay uh, the way we can get a more accurate sketch is we can just take and create a table value of x, y, and just get some points here, okay? So this would be like, say, for example, one, this would be two, this would be three, and I can plug in these inputs, three, two, one, for example, and determine what the respective x values are by using this equation here, 
okay and I could solve for X and reference the lesson uh, I show you how to do that uh, how you can construct a table of values so I'm not going to do it here if you did it that's awesome okay but it's not required for you to to um, uh, have a basic sketch as long as you get to this degree that's fine but you again uh, to be extra redundant you need to know how to create a table of value and this is not only just for parabolas it's for all other um, things that you can do any anything that has a graph and algebra you can create a table of value to figure out more points that are on that particular graph and then you can just plot those kind of connect the dots right but the main thing let's just talk real quick here just to review is we have the directrix okay this reference line okay here's the directrix and here's the focus so what's the big main idea about parabolas right well from the focus okay if you take if you go to from the focus to any point that's on the parabola this distance here is equal distance to down to the directrix remember that's going to be a perpendicular line off the directrix so this distance is the same as this distance on any point that's on the parabola so let's say this point here so if we go from the focus to this point it's going to be the same distance uh, from that point on the parabola down to the directrix and just kind of eyeballing this you know it looks like these lines okay let's kind of look at these lines here this line and this line are pretty similar in length so this might be um, somewhat of a uh, fairly accurate or not too far off sketch of the parabola so that's kind of another kind of way you can kind of eyeball it but you do want to at least have um, a good accurate graph on the XY plot where the vertex is at or where the focus is at and the uh, direct uh, the directrix so I did plot this pretty much you know four units over this way and the focus four units over if you if you take the time to plot these correctly and then just kind of check your sketch if you know if you just take two lines if it looks like these lines are equal distance then it's you're probably in the ballpark as far as a basic sketch goes all right so let's move on to our next problem